Hi guys, so today we're going to show you how to easily and quickly replace the front brake pads on a Corsa 1800 utility 2006 model. Uh, oh, this is straightforward, it's very, very easy. Um, I just hope we can get all the equipment together. But these brake pads are finished, so I'm going to show you quickly how to replace the brakes. First thing you want to do is remove the wheel, obviously. Then, secondly, start the car and turn your wheel until the brake calipers are easy accessible. Now let me see if I can show you guys. You can see... You can see nothing. Ah, there we go. You see that nut? You need to release that nut, loosen it, that one. And at the bottom below it there's another one. Uh, loosening this nut... Uh, man. Loosening this nut and its friend down below will release the entire caliper and then you can remove the whole caliper you don't have to take off your brake line you don't have to do that and then you can just take out the brake pads and slide the new ones in and uh, I think while we're in this position we have to push the I hope you can see you have to push the calipers this one back into its place to release the brake pads. Let's try that. Always remember to open up your brake fluid cap when pushing back the brakes because it's obviously going to push brake fluid out. Okay, as you can see, I've used. Um, a gualaiki and I pushed the piston back so now the calipers the, the brake pads are loose now when you remove this you can easily just take out the brake pads all I did is I used this I pushed it in here and then you just push the whole thing back okay guys I'm sorry I have to take video like this but it's extremely difficult so now you're just going to loosen this nut and the one that one at the bottom to remove the caliper <sighs> sorry guys there you go there's the disc it's still nice no damage on the disc and then here you go the caliper is out and this is what finished brake pads look like there is not much of anything left on this pad this is metal on metal almost this is cloth kaput look at this one huh? yeah it was time now the piston is already back, I can just insert the two brand new brake pads. And please don't lose these spacers. If you lose them, you're going to have a cluck, a cluck, a cluck, a cluck, a cluck sound the whole time when you're driving. All we do now is we're going to put the two new pads in, slide it back over the disc put back the two bolts and Bob's your uncle just to show you let's get some light <laughs> just to show you the difference between new as you can see uh, new disc and old one look there Ah, that's the difference. It's supposed to be up to five more. You can go up to five more, which is half this. And uh, yeah, after that you should replace it. But I haven't had the time to replace it, so it's time to. The time has come, definitely. So, new one. Let's put it in. Okay. There we have both discs inserted into the caliper. Now we just have to slide it over the disc 
and tighten it up again. And there you go. We'll turn back into its position. Cut it pretty tighten. And the shoes are fitting perfectly where it's supposed to fit. Now all you need to do is replace the wheel and take out the stand and the jack. And then remember, what you do on the one side, you have to do on the other. If it's on the same axle, regardless of that even, if you replace a brake on the left, you have to replace the brakes again on the right.